हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू ज्योतिर्मयानंद सोसाइटी आर जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड डेली सत्संग करेंटली वी आर स्टडिंग द बुक इंटेग्रल योगा ऑथर्ड बाय स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद जी महाराज नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलानंद वी आर करेंटली स्टडिंग मंत्र योगा और द मिस्ट्री ऑफ द साउंड The mantra Om Namah Shivaya, for example, consists of various root letters, each letter having a particular significance. Om is the symbol of the absolute. Na refers to negation, while Maha refers to mindness. Therefore, Namaha implies negation of mindness. She is the symbol of auspiciousness. Va symbolizes expansion and Ya is the root letter of the heart center and symbolizes communion with the divine self in the heart. Thus a practitioner of mantra Om Namah Shivaya invokes the absolute self by the sound Om and then having negated the sense of mindness he ascends the step of auspiciousness, expansion and enters into divine communion. Thus, through the literal meaning of a mantra, you express your feelings, while through its mystical meaning, you exercise the relationship that exists between verbal sound and mind. Throughout the scriptures of yoga, Om is emphasized as the basic mantra, the mother of all mantras, and for various reasons is the mystic symbol of the absolute. When you pronounce Om, spelled in Sanskrit as A-U-M, with A the mouth is open, the sound comes from the bottom of your throat, with U the sound is shaped by your mouth, and with M the sound is produced by the lips. Oh. Therefore, suggests all the possible sound expressions possible for a human being. Repetition of mantra, as we have pointed out, is an intensive form of spiritual movement and therefore has an art behind it. Raja Yoga states, Tad Japaha Tadarth Bhavanam the divine name should be repeated with meaning and feeling. When a person repeats the divine name with an internal feeling of devotion, the mantra becomes much more effective. Firstly, impress your mind with the fact that the name you are repeating is the name of the all-encompassing reality. Then through the persistent repetition of mantra, day by day, a pattern will be set up where as soon as you begin to repeat your mantra, you will immediately calm down. The moment you introduce the name of God to your mind, your mind will become so accustomed to that divine presence that it will allow itself to be thrilled all over. Mantra is much like sugar candy is to a child. Only this candy is not ordinary but secret. Mantra is repeated secretly within your heart and as such, as you continue, you begin to enjoy the sweetness arising out of divine feeling. Therefore, the mind must be backed up by feeling. You must promote the understanding that the name you are repeating is the symbol of the absolute that encompasses all. Initiation, imitation, initiation, a mystic link. Initiation ceremony or um, sadhana mantra diksha it's called in Sanskrit is a very profound uh, link between the guru and the disciple. An aspirant may choose any mantra according to his inclination and it will be extremely beneficial to him. However, a very important part of Japa Yoga, the yoga of repeating mantra, is mantra initiation by a guru, a preceptor, a qualified teacher. Through it, a mystic link is set up between the aspirant and his mantra. It is a spiritual process. 
impressing the mind with the mystic meaning behind the mantra. So, through initiation, an aspirant consciously and unconsciously establishes the idea that mantra is divine and is linked to God. Although you may not always remember every letter and its meaning, your unconscious has picked up the deeper implication. Even repeated unconsciously, a positive force is created through the rite of in initiation because it comes with Guru's blessings and the charge of the lineage, the blessings from the entire Guru-Shishya relationship. Therefore, once your unconscious has that spiritual sensitivity, Though you may think you are just mechanically repeating the mantra, it is never so. There is always an unconscious potency of the mantra. Furthermore, an aspirant must understand that the mantra into which he is initiated is not in conflict with any other divine name. Therefore, he can join in repeating or singing the Lord's name in various ways without ever developing doubt that other mantras may be better than his own. All mantras have equal potency. However, different mantras are given to different aspirants depending upon their personal attitudes, levels of evolution and inclination. Mantra can be practiced at any time. You can practice mantra before going to sleep or upon waking up. You can repeat your mantra whenever your mind is not involved in what you are doing. As for example, during mechanical works, while eating food, while driving to work, soon you may find your mantra beginning to assert itself at all times unconsciously. Whenever you are calm and quiet, you will find a part of your mind moving towards your mantra and through it touching God. Mantra becomes a mystic hand that allows you to reach out and adore God or the Divine Self. There are many ways of repeating mantra. If your mind is restless, you may repeat your mantra out loud when and that is an aid in keeping the mind under control and calming it down. If your mind is calm, you can repeat the mantra semi-verbally, whispering it but when your mind is very calm or relaxed, it is best and most effective to repeat the mantra mentally, bringing in an intense feeling of devotion and surrender. You may also sing your mantra or other mantras alone or with others, in which case it is known as Kirtana. More generally, Kirtan are devotional songs in praise of the Divine Self. They aid the mind to generate a spiritual current of divine feeling and are extremely popular in India where groups of people or families come together for the sole purpose of singing Kirtan. Another important way of repeating mantra which is very effective in bringing about purity of mind and mental concentration is Likhit Japa, written mantra or writing the mantra again and again. You should sit down and write out your mantra with great patience and steadiness as if you are touching God. This is an extremely effective practice. If you were to write just a single page a day, you would find a great benefit in a very short time. You would learn how to relax both mentally and physically. When you relax along with the repetition of mantra, you are charging your mind with spiritual vibrations and in the course of time you will realize what unexpected rewards mantra can give you. When you repeat mantra day by day with devotion, every aspect of yoga will open up to you automatically. You will possess a mind that understands the secrets of life. The repetition of mantra draws the grace of God. It purifies the mind. It draws psychic powers to strengthen your personality. Mantra can be directed towards healing or towards the solution of any problem. It will aid your health. It will give you a mystic glow to your face and you will exert a magnetic influence on others. You will not be the same personality. However, the highest purpose of mantra is when it is directed towards the 
unfoldment of self-realization. Let your mind enjoy a divine sweetness while repeating the mantra. Gradually as you continue your practice, your unconscious will become sensitive to the underlying divine presence. Through Japa Yoga or the Yoga of Repeating Mantra, you store up a reserve of mental power in your unconscious depths. Mantra is unfailing in its results and is the simplest, most vital technique of spiritual development. Put on the armor of mantric vibrations and move in this world like a hero. The negative influences from different people will not affect the serenity of your mind. Thus, you will steadily and smoothly ascend the heights of yoga without much effort and in a short time. Hari Om Tatsat. We will complete this uh, satsang tomorrow. Hari Om.